Well, you got to love the Christmas season. You got to love the winter. You got to love the snow outside. And you got to love Christmas, which is coming on fast. And we've got a couple of little thoughts for you today on a Christmas tradition that really has worked for us. So I guess this goes back a lot of years, Linda, because our kids were pretty small when we first had a Children for Children concert. Yep, I'll never forget that. Our neighbors, who were darling and involved in some South America humanitarian stuff, came to us one day and said, you know, we need your help. We could build an entire school in Bolivia for $1,000. It's just cinder, cinder block, but it just, it works. Well, that we shows it was quite a while ago, but, yeah. and also in a very far away place. But, right. But we were, I think we were already at the time thinking about doing a little Christmas concert just for fun, because all our kids were in music lessons and so on. We might have, but we just decided that, that was a good idea to put it together, because I had spent a lot of money on music <laughs> lessons that year, and I thought, we, to get something we out just will get something out of this. And so we decided to have a little concert and invite all of our kids' friends in the neighborhood, which there were a lot. And uh, we said, each of you just prepare a little Some something. little number. If you have an instrument, fine. If you don't, just... If um, you dance, dance. If yeah. you have a poem, read a poem. Bring an art um, project. Bring an anything. art project. Anything. Yeah. But we, we made it clear that this was a children for children concert in the sense that there would be money raised. They would be paid perform. They would be doing a performance which people would pay to see and that would be their money, that is the kids. And then they would send their money to children in Bolivia. Someplace else, yeah. Who had no, had nothing. And so they worked at it. The kids really organized it. The older kids, I think Saren was 10 or 11 by I think then. she conducted it. And uh, conducted it and made sure that everybody's name was on the program. We printed a program. And the neighbors came in droves. They I came. I mean, it was standing room only. And, and we found that parents will pay quite a lot to see their kids perform. <laughs> right. In most cases, sometimes there's a bit of embarrassment, but it really is such a fun thing. But then that was just the seed of the beginning, and, and it was so successful that we've just done it every year. And now our kids have taken out the baton. Several of them are doing their own Children for Children concerts. You have to wait till your kids are And there's, so, there's something to. so great about the kids feeling like they're using their talent to raise money they have a stewardship to help other children who are their age. And of course you have to find your favorite charity. Uh, we're gonna be going to one, we're gonna put it on this video and show you some parts of it of our oldest daughter, Saren, who always does a children for children with her family and neighborhood and sends the money to Bulgaria where she lived for nearly two years to an orphanage. Right, and worked in the orphanage and has trapped, she actually went to the orphanage eight months pregnant with twins. To, oh, that's she's right. crazy. I forgot about that. Um, but the to see need how was the money was being so spent. enormous, they just couldn't not help. So they got video, they got pictures, and then they showed those at the concert. So people actually knew who they were helping and how they were helping. And your heart just goes out to those poor little children. So I know we're all, as parents and grandparents, we're always trying to think how do we get our kids to think more about the giving and less about the getting at Christmas. Right. And this is a great way to, to think about doing a Children for Children concert. All you need is a cause. It could be a local cause. It could yeah, be the soup kitchen. Yeah, it doesn't have to be foreign. It's just that, I mean, actually, Shawnee, one of our daughters, did it one year for BBS, which is the syndrome of uh, the child, daughter. and raised money for research. Uh, this year, we had a daughter in Boston who did one for Care for Life, which is in Africa, and raised $1,700. Yeah, We're so yeah. excited about that. You can often get a charity of some kind to match the funds that you raise. Right. So you can double it up. So consider that as a possible, maybe the last thing any of you need is another Christmas tradition, yeah, but well, this is one that has really worked in our family. And right now is the time to think about this for next year. Yeah, We're getting yeah. a little too yeah, close right For now. next year. Yeah. So have the Christmas spirit carry over. And we'll show you now a few clips from our daughter's Children for Children concert. If you do a check, um, it's made out to the IRM Foundation, and it will be on the donation box if you need to know how to spell it. And everything will be matched by the IRM Foundation. So if you pay $10, um, then it will be matched to $20. So keep that in mind as you do. And now we will have a video that shows um, some of the orphans that are in Bulgaria. And some of them have some serious medical problems and they don't have any money for doctors. And 
so some of them, and here are my music and stuff like that. So here's the video.